Yeah, hi there. These comments are for uh, AA, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7-step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. You're also one of my students in the English language program over at California State University San Bernardino. And I'm going to read, score, comment, and even recommend some lessons to help you improve your writing based on your response. So your topic is describe a custom from your country that you'd like other country like people from other countries to adopt, explain your choice using specific reasons and examples. So really, you got kind of two things here. Describe the custom, and then why do you think other people from other countries should adopt this custom? Okay, so I think you're stronger on this particular part of the question. You've described the custom but you haven't really convincingly argued why you think other people from other countries should adopt this custom. So let's take a look at your thesis statement here. So you have in Saudi Arabia we have a special way of doing our weddings and there are many big things that the wedding consists such as a dinner and the time of the marriage. So you're describing it but also why is this an important custom that other countries should adopt? So you include more description of the wedding here. Weddings in Saudi Arabia are very different from weddings in other countries in every shape. You talk about what happens uh, in the women hall marriages start and you talk about what happens there. You also said this type of custom in Saudi Arabia uh, you want to say here is unique and different from other countries. This is where you start to answer the the part of the question that says why should other people from other countries adopt it but I don't think you spend enough time to really argue this particular point so I think you probably spent a little too much time on the description aspects of the writing and not enough time on why you think other countries from other cultures should adopt this custom so probably you can better address the writing task particularly the part of the task that says you'd like other people from other countries to adopt. Now let's take a look at your language use for a minute here. Now you have to be careful and make sure you don't use spell check which will change some of your words and give you different words. You have to make sure you're choosing the right words here. For example, you say we have in Saudi Arabia a special, you say cousin, which is a person, but you want to say a c custom that makes our country different I would say than others you say for instance kabash is the most famous dish that is consists or you want to say that that consists of rice and lamp meat or chicken M-E-A-T but here's part of my problem is how does this fit here because in the next sentence you say there is a lot of variation of of uh, weddings across the world and each country has uh, its own way of doing weddings. How does this tie in? D are the dinners part, is this particular meal part of what you do at the wedding? So it's this particular sentence, the example that you give, it, I mean I know you're illustrating of how it makes your country different from other countries because of this meal that you eat but how does it fit into the sentence that comes after it so there wasn't a good cohesive uh, type fit I think with that particular sentence alright let's go to your next your next paragraph uh, let's take a look at some of the language use I'm just going to take a look at one example in each particular paragraph Uh, let's take a look at the very last sentence. You say after, I would usually probably just say here, after dinner the wedding will be finished. You want to use ED on this particular word because you're using what's called passive voice. Because you have the past participle, you have to put the ED here. Now the next one, In this particular sentence, you say, now one in the hall of men can see. You want to say, no one in the hall, 
or how about no one in the men's hall can see the bride except for the close family of both the bride and the bridegroom because it is part of Saudi culture. Now the one thing that you can do here as you explain these things, why would this be important for someone from another cu culture to adopt or another country? I think it would be good to connect it back to that because that's part of the purpose of the writing. Okay, your next paragraph you say this type of custom type here is singular and you say are I would say this type of custom is unique and different from other countries this kind of you want to say here celebration not plural will strengthen no s is needed here why because you have the this is the base form of the verb because it comes after the uh, uh, the modal so this kind of celebration will strengthen the social relations between relatives and friends moreover they have to help the bridegroom and the bride to give them money you want to say here to carry out this marriage also the bridegroom and the bride will receive more money to start their life and live in a good way all of these are part of Saudi customs and traditions so this is the paragraph that you 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 dealt with it in one paragraph but you probably didn't include enough information here to really fully explain why other people from other countries should adopt this particular custom so what you can do is you can probably condense the description of the custom and then spend more time explaining why other countries should adopt it alright so your final paragraph let's take a look at any possible problems here again with the same word cousin instead of custom it actually interferes in your meaning changing the word to a different word it doesn't help you to communicate clearly in writing I'll be honest with you it interferes so that's a problem you say weddings in Saudi Arabia are completely different than other countries weddings usually start at night and so on but here the other thing you didn't do here because part of your writing is to show why other countries should adopt the custom you should also restate those ideas here just briefly and then that ties back to your previous paragraph so your conclusion needs to restate both the description of the custom and why other people from other countries should adopt the custom now how will you score here so let's take a look at the rubrics uh, to get in the four area you have to directly and effectively address a topic in the task I'm going to say you, you, you did a lot of describing the custom but didn't really explain enough of why other countries should adopt it so I'm going to say no uh, you're not going to score in the four area in the three area it says addresses a topic and task uh, has accurate but limited range of sentence structures has some problems with sentence formation and word choice um, I'm going to say probably not. I don't think you'll score in this area either. Let's take a look at the two area. Limited development of ideas as it relate to the topic and task, inadequate organization, or a connection of ideas. So if you wanted to improve the organization, you'd have to include a thesis here, not just what the custom is, which is doing weddings, but why other countries should adopt the custom. So in order to organize your essay better, you have to look at what you said here in this, uh, in this second to the last paragraph. Uh, it will strengthen the social relations between relatives and friends. So you should refer to that in the thesis because this helps better respond to the two different parts of the question so I think that you could improve your organization by including a thesis statement that that really deals with both parts of this this question right, let's go back to the rubrics here so uh, you also have you have quite a few problems with your inappropriate word choice or word forms so I'm gonna put you in the high two area 2.75 out of five this puts you at 18 points out of 30 on this particular uh, writing task now if we take a look at our syllabus 
uh, 2.75 is going to put you at 73% out of 100 based on the syllabus. Now what do you do? Uh, I do have some recommendations here. Uh, first of all, to help you a little bit with your language use, if you go over to my Grammar Lesson 7, it will take you to the website, A Writer's Reference by Diana Hacker. And first of all, go to the writing exercises. And here's what I recommend in, in this area. Uh, I'd like to have you take a look at thesis statements and also topic sentences. Now, look at these two exercises within the intent that a lot of your topic sentences are more factual, not argumentative. Because part of your essay was not just explaining the custom, but also explaining why other countries should adopt the custom, and that gives you what's called an argumentative point of view. Now, if you take a look at your essay with each of your paragraphs, your thesis sentence says, we have a special way of doing things. There's many things that the wedding consists of. That's more of a factual type statement. You say, weddings in Saudi Arabia are very different than weddings in other countries. That's a fact. So you have more of an explanatory tone. You have the women's hall marriages usually start after 9 p.m. and end at 7 a.m. That's a fact. This type of custom is unique and different from other countries. That's also a fact. So your thesis and your topic sentences are focusing more around facts, so that gives you more of a factual tone. However, part of the tone in this essay should be argumentative because you have to explain why you think other people from other countries should adopt this custom. So when you're doing these exercises, make sure you, you try to get the main point is when you're doing thesis statements and topic sentences, especially when you're making arguments, you have to make sure you frame them in a way that encourages more of an argumentative tone. Now under grammar exercises, let me take a look at some things that you can probably focus on here. Uh, I would say you can probably do a little bit of study with uh, sentence style, word choice, grammatical sentences, also ESL challenges, I think. If you go through those areas, that's also going to help develop your editing skills a little bit more than what they are now. Alrighty, so uh, anyway, thank you very much for completing uh, the writing assignment, and uh, I look forward to reading your uh, final exam.